All right, imagine this, and it's kind of scary. You find a video of yourself online saying something you've never said in your life in a video you never recorded. That is a terrifying thought, and it's actually happening yes. right now on social media, more and more to celebrities and politicians. And get this, it can be done with videos mm -hmm. or just over the phone. Okay, here's an example. During the presidential primary, people in New Hampshire answered the phone to an AI voice resembling President Joe Biden, telling them not to vote in the primary and save their vote for the November general election. It's called a deep fake. It's an image or a recording that's been convincingly altered and then manipulated to misrepresent somebody as doing something that they really didn't do or say. Yeah, it's a big topic of conversation, not going away anytime soon. News correspondent Joe Gum, he's finding out more for us about the dangers of these deep fakes. And, and Joe, this is just scary talking about. Yes. Yeah, Dominique Fanship, I was curious how realistic deep fakes can really be, so I had one made of myself. Take a look. Authorities say that the rise of deep fakes across social media platforms is at an all time high. This is a major concern for a number of Americans who are trying to get information for the upcoming election in November. The Federal Election Commission has made steps towards regulating AI and deep fakes in campaigns, although there is not much regulation on social media apps as a whole. I've already seen that already, and it's still scary. I want to bring in Dr. Harvey Castro, who specializes in AI use in healthcare. We appreciate you joining us, uh, Dr. Castro, here on Morning on Merritt Street. Thanks for having me. So you wrote this book, and we're going to get to that here momentarily. I never said any of that in the video. All we did was send a video to you and your team, and they spent about eight or ten hours mm -hmm. putting that together. What was the process in that? What did you need? Honestly, all we needed was video of you. That's it. And I could get it on YouTube. There's so many hours of you that we could take that. And what's really scary is that once we put in that time, moving forward now, I just need 10 minutes and I can do more of those videos. And that is frightening. Yes. To some, just hearing that, uh, just 10 minutes from there, is that the most frightening thing when we're talking about deep fake? You know, I'm really scared for our elections, uh, for influencers saying things that they didn't say. Um, there's just a lot of negativity in the world. But on the positive side, as a doctor, I see this as a great tool for healthcare. What does this mean, though? Speaking of healthcare, but like you said, the election, anything else, what does this mean for trust when you go yeah. online, especially with kids yeah. who are impressionable, young people? Yeah, I'm, I'm so scared about this. In fact, I told my family, let's do a safe word in the house. That way we know if it's fake. That way if there's a fake call or anything like that. Um, I'm really worried about our population out there that's going to believe everything they see. So I'm telling everyone, question what you see and hear. Especially during the election. Tell us, tell our audience how we can uh, figure out what is real and what's fake. What do we look for? Uh, give me some steps. You know, honestly, go with your gestalt. Whatever it tells you, if you're like, you know, this doesn't sound right or doesn't look right, it's probably not right. But the scary thing is take a look at small details. Look at the voice, look at the skin color, uh, the tone. If it makes you really excited or upset, maybe that's a clone itself. In that original video of me as the deep fake, uh, Morgan Wallen, we were doing a story on him, and he was actually speaking in the background. So some people would get that. As, as, a news, as a newsie, I see people all the time, even my friends on social media, post things online that I know is fake. Yeah. Of course, now we have to go to websites like uh, Snoops and, and, and figure out, yeah. hey, is this real or is this fake? So uh, people are asking, they're watching a segment like this, is, are there any laws right now to regulate deep fakes? And if, and if what's, what's coming up in the future if there are? What should... Take yeah. place. Unfortunately, there's not, and we need some national legislation on this. I think there will be soon. Uh, obviously, the elections is big. I know ChatGPT said they do not want to release some things uh, to let people create deep fakes, and they're going to wait till after the elections. He's Dr. Harvey Castro. The Humane AI Pin Revolution is a brand new book that is out this week. You can get online. We appreciate you joining us. This is scary, but of course, I think we're going to probably have you on in the future to t discuss this as well. And great job on the video. Thank you. Appreciate you guys. Thanks. All right. We will definitely continue Woo. the conversation. Thank you both. Coming up, Taylor Swift fans may be one of the main driving forces behind an upcoming DOJ lawsuit against concert promoter Live Nation. We're going to show you the details. We've got it all in the Pulse. Plus, women re-entering the workforce in midlife. The things you need to know to get noticed by your future employer.